And finally, America, new rule, America does need to build a wall, a seawall, because the ice is melting and rising oceans are going to swallow Miami. <laughs> Hey, Marco Rubio, you're from there. You're the senator from Florida. In 20 years, you're gonna be the senator from Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with Republicans and the environment? They never waver in their commitment to do nothing. The threat they see is a horde of rapey terrorists pouring over the southern border. Here's a chart showing the trend in apprehensions along our southern border. Here's a chart showing the trend in global carbon rise. If you're not a chart person, let me summarize. <laughs> carbon is killing us, Mexicans are not. <laughs> but... But ever since the 35-day silent treatment, <laughs> came to an end last week, the master negotiator has been threatening to play his final card, declaring a national emergency. But Republicans don't want another shutdown. So they've come up with a reason why they can't go along with that. Here's what Rubio said about that. If today the national emergency is border security, tomorrow the national emergency might be climate change. <gasps> yeah, God forbid we start declaring a national emergency about something that's an actual <laughs> national emergency. <laughs> the right wing has a new boogie woman in Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and she is being called a hysterical, not ready for primetime crazy lady because she protested for a Green New Deal outside of Nancy Pelosi's office, and also said, the world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. To which I say, thank you. It's about time. <laughs> It's about time someone framed the issue with the appropriate level of urgency. And when she cited 12 years, that wasn't a number she just pulled out of her ass like Trump does. She was referring to a timeline from the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. And they say, if we don't do a reversal of current trends by 2030, it will be too late. Now, I don't agree with that because 2030 is optimistic. <laughs> Yeah, climate headlines in recent years have a definite theme, which is, you know that pants-shitting fact we told you a year ago? We'll shit more. <laughs> Ocean warming is accelerating faster than we thought. Antarctica's ice sheet is melting three times faster than we thought. Climate change driving species out of habitats much faster than expected. You see a pattern? But here's a glimmer, a tiny, tiny little glimmer of hope. Americans are starting to get it. 73% now believe global warming is happening, an increase of 10% from four years ago. And more than six in 10 now accept that it's man-made. Half of Americans say the science is more convincing than it was five years ago, which is fucking stupid, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'm placing my... Thank you. <laughs> I'm placing my hope in how mad people are going to get when climate change starts killing not just monarch butterflies and all the bees and the whales, but stuff much closer to home. We may be close to killing maple syrup <laughs> and wine. The traditional wine regions of France, Italy, and Napa Valley could all be too hot to grow grapes by 2050, and then where will alcoholics go on vacation? <laughs> With no more m wine, men trying to impress their dinner dates will have to burn money at the table. <laughs> Priests will have to get children in the mood with music. Hotter, dry, <laughs> hotter, drier growing seasons also make it harder to grow hops, which makes beer. What is Brett Kavanaugh gonna drink with Squee? <laughs> 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 
and coffee. 60% of wild coffee species are at risk of going extinct. Got your attention now, huh? <laughs> Without Starbucks, where are unemployed screenwriters gonna sit around all day? <laughs> where will millennials get free Wi-Fi? Where will we find our next president? <laughs> And look at this, the banana, as we know it, is dying. I never thought this sentence would make sense, but yes, we have no bananas. <laughs> Coffee, bananas, maple syrup, we're a breakfast item away from losing the Grand Slam. <laughs>